Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is. I've been up working all night on the computer. Just got back in town here in, in Katy. And I've been up all night working on some recipes and finishing up the cookbook, trying to change it up a little and, and doing stuff old school soul food. You're doing a little paperwork about four or five hours. So it's like five in the morning, y'all. So I say I'm gonna meet me some breakfast. And believe me, y'all, how time goes. It was 10:30 last night. I just finished watching the the uh, my TCU Hornfalls get beat up by my by those Georgia Bulldogs. I turned the hair off. By, I wanted to turn it off, but I couldn't. Hoping they'd come back, but they got beat by like 50 points. So. Watching that in my office, and then I started working 10 30 last night. And I looked up, it's 4 30 in the morning, y'all. So I'm gonna cook me some breakfast, then I'm gonna go and take me a nap. But what I wanna do, I wanna do something quick. And I say, my word, videotape it. Y'all know before, I always do them a little pan pioneer pancake mix. This is the best pancake mix on the market. Krusty's may have a good product, uh, Angel Mama has a good product. But to me, Pioneer is the, is the way to go, y'all. Because that's what I use on my job. I retired from last year. And that's what I always use. So what I want to do, I want to get some Jimmy Dean sauce. I don't know if y'all got Jimmy Dean where you come from. I think Jimmy Dean is from Chicago area. So I love me some Jimmy Dean sauces. So I'm going to cut up me about three of these here. I'll cut it and get it out the little package here. Cook me some Jimmy Dean sausage. I always gonna have some pancakes and sausage, y'all. I just take them out of the packages like this. Put a little piece off of there. Put it right there. I cut the other part off right here. And I'll put that in the fridge there. And one thing about these sausage, y'all, especially sausage like this, you gotta use it in a couple of days. Cause this fresh sausage like this go bad so quickly. So if you ever buy rolling sausage like that, most people eat them all at the same day. Kind of make sure you kind of use them up in a couple of days. So what I do, I just kind of pour them like this. Get a little water on my hand here. So it don't stick to my hands. I just kind of form it down like that with a little water on your hands like that. Form a little patty like that. We're going to heat our skillet up over here, and I'm going to get my sausage going first. And while my sausage is cooking, I'm put just a little oil in here, y'all. Y'all look over me, y'all, but I'm about to ready to. I'm, I'm running on fumes here, but I'm starving. And I said, I want some. I, saw, I keep seeing those. Uh, you ever see them commercials come on TV uh, with, uh, what's the place? Uh, Cracker Barrel and they pancakes. I said, man, that looks good. I said, I'm going to go make me some pancakes. I ain't going to go to a Cracker Barrel, but I'm going to go to get me some pancakes. So that's what I was going to make. So I put the little sausage in here. We're going to get it cooked off. And when it finish up, I'm going to clean this skillet out. And I'm going to cook it in the same skillet the pancakes. Matter of fact, while it's cooking, let me flip y'all back over here. Flip y'all right back over here before I send y'all away. We're going to make this pancake mix right quick. All you do to this, y'all, you just add water. You ain't got to add no eggs. You ain't got to add no uh, oil, no nothing. This is the one we use for, whew, what did I say, 20 years at, the, at my job. I, I worked at my job 34 years, but we use this pancake mix. Of course, we got the big, you know, 10-pound bags of this stuff. In it. We get 20 pounds at a time, of course. But move y'all over here. I ain't move, move y'all back over here. All I did was put the uh, the mix in here, y'all, out the box. Get the box here. I thought y'all was flipped over. See, I'm half asleep, y'all. Y'all step, bear with me. Okay, all I'm gonna do is put some water in here. I'm not gonna measure it, y'all, but I'm gonna just play it by ear. Water in here till it gets to the thickness of the pancake. You can make pancakes thick as thin as you want. I like a little thin batter. It's pretty much like this, though. I don't like it too thin. I don't like it too thick. Yeah, you just mix it up just like that. And that's it. I like let my pancake mix kind of 
sit up about 10, 15 minutes before I use it. So while the sausage is cooking, my pancake mix can be kind of rest in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off here and uh, let this sausage here do its thing. Like I say, y'all, this ain't no exciting video. I say, why not video it? A little cheap meal too. Don't cost that much. And uh, I got, I always keep sausages in my freezer. Like I say, I got deer sausage in there, and I had this uh, Jimmy Dean sitting near the top. I said, I, I pulled it out, matter of fact, last night. I said, why not just put my Jimmy Dean sausage? I need to use it up anyway. Let me move back over here for a second, y'all. If you want an egg, you can do eggs with this. I ain't gonna do no eggs. All I'm gonna do is need some little Jimmy Dean sausage there. Three of them, don't judge me. I eat three sausage patties at a time. I love me some Jimmy Dean sausage. So we're gonna kinda let them sit there. And when that's done, we'll come back. We'll throw our pancakes in there. And we'll have our breakfast, y'all. Pancakes and sausage can't get no better than that. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, got the sausage here pretty much ready. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the sausage here and kind of put it on the plate here. I'm gonna take this skillet and we're gonna put it over here and we're gonna wash it out. Throw these sausages up here. Now to keep them warm up in the microwave here, we're gonna move y'all over here. And I'm gonna kind of wash this skillet out here. Turn my fire up here. You see my batter here? That's the thickness I want, y'all. You can do as thick as thin as you want. That's that's the consistency I like my, my pancake batter. So what I'm doing here, y'all, I'm using one skillet, y'all, for everything today. One skillet for everything. Bring this out here. We're gonna wash it out there and we're gonna put it back on the on the stove. Could have did a Facebook and my Facebook or YouTube live with this, huh? Mm hmm. Let me get my spray here. Got a little oil on there. Let that kind of heat up. Clean my spatula off. Let's see, y'all, we're going to. Ain't going to have much cleanup at all here. Let me get my spray. And spray here. Ready to let's see here, y'all. Put a pan spray in here. I'm gonna do one pancake at a time. And I like big pancakes here. Not too big, but let's move y'all over here again here. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna let this come up to temperature. About one minute, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I got my skillet on here. You know, that first pancake, y'all, is always the hardest one to get right. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, like I said, what you do? One pancake at a time, y'all. One at a time. Y'all already know how to make a pancake when it bubbles start bubbling up all the way. A little brown on the edges. You just flip it over. I think I got enough to make what about three pancakes, y'all. I like to make the first one really, really dry and do little by little as I go up the top. Like a, you know how like a tear. That's the little thing I like to do. It nothing, I mean. Nothing exists on how you make a pancake, y'all. Like I say, I'm just sharing a little breakfast here. It'll take me a two or three hour nap, then I'll get up. And I got uh, yard work to do. I lost three of my orange trees during the freeze. I covered them up, but they did not survive. And that's the second time in the last three years that's happened. And I gotta go and dig all these up. I like to do it myself. I get somebody to do it, but I like to do it myself. I gotta dig them up. And in March, I got to replant my citrus trees here. They had just produced me some 
I think I got 30 oranges off those two trees uh, last month. And it just breaks my heart. I got to dig them all up. I waited a few days. You know, I cut back, cut back, cut back. I ain't see no green. And I got to redo those. My plum trees made it. My lemon trees made it. But my citrus, my oranges, my little orange trees didn't make it. They had sweet oranges on it, too. So that just kind of breaks my heart. So that's my, my agenda to do today. Okay, y'all. We're going to flip that over there. Nice, pretty pancake. So we're going to get the other two done, y'all. And I'll come back when I got the other ones ready. And we're going to taste these. And I'll be ready to eat my breakfast. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Got the last one in here, y'all. Last one in here. Okay, flip this bad boy over. There we go. I like to let it sit in there by one minute, and I'll turn the fire off. And then we'll set it up on here. So y'all see I got my butter. I like to put butter between each layer of my pancake, y'all. Don't judge me. I like to put butter between each layer. Pancake. So what I do now, I'll just cut the fire off over here on my pancakes and let the residual heat kind of do its thing. Let's see, I can spread that butter around there. I like every bit of my pancake to have butter on it, y'all. So what I do, I just slice butter in between it. And there's the other ones cooking. I'll let that one do its thing. See that? People don't like butter, they be saying, oh, that's too much butter. No such thing as too much butter. Okay, put that one on there. Put some butter on top of this one. All right, I'm gonna step off here, y'all. Do my world famous, world famous YouTube thumbnail. And I'll come back, and we gonna try these out, y'all. It'll be time to eat. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Let's dig in here, y'all. I'm Like I say, y'all, I'm hungry. There ain't nothing like some good old buttermilk pancakes. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm telling you, Pioneer makes the best. Makes the absolute best. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pancakes. Mm-hmm. There we go. Look at that. Good bite. Let me go in here. Oh, I got open wide for this. This one here. Mmm. 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 Nice and fluffy. Mmm. Ain't go wrong with that, y'all. Mmm. 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 All right, y'all. Ain't gonna hold y'all long. Like I say, I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I got a lot of work to do around the house today, outside. I ain't any kitchen. It's supposed to be like 65, 70. No, it's going to be oh, hotter than that. Like 75 degrees. And I love working in the yard, y'all. Y'all know I just purchased a home in the Dallas area, too. So I got two homes now to be doing landscape with. I just love it. That's my little getaway and fortress to forget about everything when I got my hands in the dirt, digging in the dirt grain leaves and stuff like that. That's the country boy in me. I absolutely love it. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Happy others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. The next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.